Hi guys, welcome to week six, day one. My name is Auntie Rashida. Okay, so our highlight scriptures for today is Genesis 48, reading from 8 to 9. And your memory verse will be Genesis 50, verse 20. Genesis 48, reading from 8 to 9. And Israel beheld Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons, who God had given me in this place. And Jacob said, Bring them, I pray thee, unto me, and I will bless them. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Part of Passage when Joseph's brothers sold him as slave and lied to their father, Jacob thought he would never see his son Joseph again. But God brought them back together. Joseph took his sons to meet their grandfather Jacob. Jacob was old and could not see well, but he was happy to meet his grandsons. Jacob made sure Joseph and his sons received the blessings God had promised their family. Not only did Jacob get to see Joseph again, he got to see Joseph's sons. Jacob gave Joseph and his sons a special blessing. The promise that God had given to them was also for Joseph and his family. No. Let's apply that story today. Jacob adopted Joseph's sons into their family because he wanted God's promise for their family to include them. Jesus lived a life without sin and took our punishment for our sins so that God could adopt us in his family and receive his blessings. Look at the pictures below in each box. And you will write the very first letter of each object in the box above. And guess what? You will share the word that you get from that activity. Now, I guess you have completed your activity. I did mine. And I got the word adopted. Okay, now let's respond to what we have learned today by seeing this small prayer. Jesus, thank you for taking my punishment for my sins so that I could be adopted into God's family and receive his blessings. Amen. Okay, guys, thank you for sharing with us today. I hope you had an awesome time just listening and reading God's words. See you tomorrow. Our memory verse for today, Genesis 50, verse 20. The evil made against us, God has turned it for our good. Genesis 50, verse 20. The evil made against us, God has turned it for our good. Genesis 50, verse 20. The evil made against us, God has turned it for our good.